Edge taken. Puss ball down for Fletcher. Bit of shape for Lasset Malinga. He's been asked to hang around. Lampai Rod Tucker wants to make sure that Lasset Malinga did not overstep. The bat in the way. Now his foot is down and he doesn't have anything behind the line. But what matters is when it first landed. On the earlier picture, it could, could have been that his foot did slide forward. Seems there's something right behind. Well, I wish him well because he can't see through the bat. And that's why he's using this angle to give him some sort of indicator. Can he see any bit of that heel behind that line? No, I believe, if there is any doubt, the decision will stay with the bowler. So Fletcher's gone. Marlinger strikes early and that'll do a world of good for him. Fletcher for naught. It's one for one. High into the air, fielder coming under it, catch taken. Melinda Silvardena takes the catch. Jermaine Blackwood not even waiting to get a sense of it, get a, a sighter from the slow bowler. And that's a second wicket for the home side. Well, it's a win for Sri Lanka. Matthews forced to bring Senanayaka earlier than he would have liked. And what does Blackwood do? He looks up, sees no fielders. He decides to hit it up there. Forgot that it has to come down. Sirivardana gets in the way. Blackwood's gone. For nine, it's 29 for two. And that's nicely stroked over the top. Good use of the feet from Johnson Charles. Picks himself up four more. Does this repair job by the West Indies. Gets on the way. Down to the pitch of that and knew exactly where he wanted to hit it. Come on, touch it, come on, touch it. Good use of the feet. This has gone a long, long way. That's a big six. He's used his feet well, Johnson Charles. His delivery wasn't that flighted. Matter of fact, it wasn't flighted at all as he got down the track quickly and looked to hit it straight. 46 and this is big my goodness that's gone a long long way and that's his fourth ODI 50 plus his uh, 200 he's reached his half century of just 32 balls and he's hit already three sixers in addition to his five fours all he needs to do now is stick around He's been picking the length of the ball really well, Johnson Charles. This one creamed it into the long on. 
stands. And even if they have a six or seven, it just wouldn't matter. Six and number four for Johnson Charles. It's been excellent batting from Johnson Charles today. He's used his feet decisively at times. And so often has struck the ball in this area, straight down the ground. It's been a, a very competent knock. Straight to the fielder. It's Darren Bravo. Not able to get underneath that. Finds Dilshan at short mid wicket. The breakthrough that Sri Lanka needed, it probably wasn't short enough for Darren Bravo to be able to play the shot decisively and clear Dilshan. Or maybe hit it to his right or left. He's not going to drop too many of those. So just as the partnership had continued to flourish, Bravo goes. Twenty-one to Bravo, ninety-nine for three. Now that has to be close. That looked plump. Now was he hitting outside the line? But the umpire has given it out. Well, it's got to have a word with Marlon Samuels. Will he review it? Yeah, they're having a chat about it. And they're going to review it. Square leg umpire says that he's out of time. So Johnson Charles is going to have to go. Took too long to make up a decision. But it was a very decisive decision from the umpire that he had been struck in front it's been a fantastic innings for Johnson Charles he's put the West Indies in a good position take another look at that one came forward the question is was he struck outside the line didn't make any contact umpire's finger went up very quickly so he's had to go for 83. Johnson Charles and the West Indies now are 139 for four. Played on. Lakmar making it difficult for the batsman to score. And Jonathan Carter running out of patience. Really good advantage for Matthews here at the moment. It's not short enough, I don't think, to have played that pull shot. He was cramped for room, Carter. And Malinga, and now Lackbow not giving any room or length to the batsman to score free. Not yet anyway. Five to Carter, 152 for five. Excellent shot. Again, making the room. Simple catch. Dinesh Chandimal back in the Sri Lankan team, back in the action. Mohamed unable to cope with uh, the wilds of Malinga. Looked like pace off the ball. Mohamed may have closed the face of the bat here, yeah, pace off the ball too soon. Taking the leading edge. That was a simple catch. It's proved very difficult to get away at this stage of the innings since the resumption of play, Lasset Malinga. May not be as quick as he once was. Is he getting back there? Four to Mohamed, 169 for six. And this is high, and that's gone for six. 
That's a tremendous shot indeed. That's Marlon Samuels for you. He is in very fine form in this game. Let's keep a leading from the front. In the slot, he's sitting deep, waiting for that length from Lasith Malinga. Five overs to go. There's plenty for Marlon Samuels to think of, think of the past, the damage he did this venue a few years ago, and especially against Lasith Malinga. That's confidence. Around the wicket goes Lasith Malinga. Now for Brown, the wicket. Be looking for a couple here, running the first run hard. He'll come back for two. And that's his uh, 26th ODI half century. And just his third against Sri Lanka. Slow ball, that's gone straight. That's gone for six. Pitching it up in his zone and Brathwaite making full use of the slower delivery from Suranga Lakmal. A good change of pace, but the problem for Lakmal is that ball's not going to grip. It's wet, it's going to slide on. Beautifully hit. Straight down. That will relieve the pressure as the West Indies goes past 200. Goes over point. That is a big one. Has it gone all the way? I think it has. That's the second six of the over. Marlon Samuels is very, very severe on anything short and wide. Yeah, the way he sets himself up, if it's full, he can go downtown. And if it's short, he just needs to throw his hands at. Very difficult to control a man who's seen the ball like a football at this stage. And who's got these options? Single here. They'll want the second. They're coming for the second. Could be trouble. Has to be a run out. Marlon Samuels. He's gone. Well, Bradford wants to sacrifice himself. It's a bit too late in the day. Samuels, the big fish. Run out. Lahiru Tiriman, the fieldsman. Should have gone straight away, though. Bradford was going to the danger end. The throw went to the bowlers in and then had to come to the keepers. If Marlon had responded straight away, he would have been home. Unfortunate way to go, though. He was striking it so well. Marlon Samuels, he's batted beautifully. 63 of 61 to West Indies skip, skipper today. 211 for seven. Starts off with the slay, slow delivery, might be a run out, he's run out by a mile. Taylor run out by a mile. Malinga proving to be a great marksman. Hits the stumps. West Indies lose another wicket. But Brathwaite is on strike. Yeah, he had to give it a go. Malinga bowling that slower ball once again. Why Martinez didn't go upstairs? Taylor's gone for one. It's 212 for eight. <laughs> and he wants a single here. Yeah. And that should be close. He will go upstairs. He's not waiting for the decision. Brathwaite knows he's gone. The hesitation. The hesitation has cost probably a couple of yards and the wicket. The West Indies making a mess of this. Far too many runouts at the end. They look like they'll get to 230.
17 mid Carlos Brathwaite 213 for 9 <laughs> didn't know much about it but he'll get a single in fact they're coming for the second now this should be trouble this should be trouble <laughs> don't tell me it's the fourth run out Sunil Narayan was not running his bat in he plonked it down I'm pretty sure it'll be over the line but would it be on the ground total confusion total confusion I think he's gone by a mile he's gone by a mile he's nowhere uh, well, that's the end of the West Indies uh, innings. Total confusion. The running has been uh, very, very poor indeed. Four run outs in the last six balls has cost the Windies. They were well placed at 212 for six. 211 for six. So let's look at the target for Sri Lanka in 38 overs. Don't forget. The Duckworth Lewis method will be applied, and that's what the Sri Lankans will have to get. 225 to win in 38 overs. Pick that up beautifully. And it's pitched and almost stuck. He does that short arm jab so well, Pereira. Go short. Perhaps not the length I was talking about. Up in the air. Down to third man. And over third man. Misjudged it, has he? Ravi Rampal. Definitely has, because it's only gone for four. Snow on the ground and was in there for a very long time. Ravi Rampal had a lot of time to get back on that boundary. As it is, it clears his head, bounces inside the boundary, and that's four runs to Dilshan. And a chance the West Indies could ill afford to miss. Oh, Miss Field again. Carlos Brathwaite this time. Not covering themselves in glory here, the West Indies. Oh, sweet. Sweet from Pereira. All the way for six. What a shot. sweetly timed it was right up in the slot and he just hit straight through the line of it didn't bother to move when he felt it come out of the middle of the bat That didn't spin, Bish, it swung. <laughs> I think Marine's animation with the hand there suggested that as well. Let's look and see that the other night, he bowled a seam up delivery first ball. And this one is an in swinger. That's what Narine was motioning with his hand. Nice in ducker. Not an off break. Seam up in swinger from the Rhine showing a multiplicity of skills. There we go. Give me the new ball, skipper. I can swing it. 17 to Dilshan, 40 for one. Oh, lovely shot. Good use of the feet. It's Dirimana. He's looking to play freely and break the shackles that he's found himself in over the last few months. 
Balam Samuels will be disappointed. Too slow and right in the slot for him. That was easily put away. Yes, yeah, surprised him. Didn't expect Tirimana to come at him. That is a wonderfully struck six by Pereira. Brings up his half century as well. Very controlled and measured innings. Slower delivery just floated up into the slot. Didn't have much on it. Right out of the middle. Didn't appear to hit it that hard, but timed it so well. Sixth half century to go with uh, two hundreds for Cusal Ferreira. Slower delivery. And he just creams it down the ground. Over long off for six. Goes on to 57. 18 overs have been bowled. Sri Lanka 116-4. Stored his power quite nicely. He just managed to keep and reset himself with a lack of pace to unleash his power effectively enough. An entertaining player, Kusel Pereira. dropped it he's dropped it giant blackwood another opportunity goes a begging tonight i think even if he'd held on to this it would have taken him over the boundary it's very very close to the boundary for blackwood not sure if he could have done much more than follow through over the ropes Very difficult for him to stay inside the ground taking that one. Beautifully played. That's four more. Powerfully struck square of the wicket. That will run for four. The timing was perfect. So was the placement. He used the pace of the ball. And it's now on 50. That is beautifully driven through the covers. In fact, he's 53. He's 15th. One day international 50. He's first against the West Indies. Don't forget, he also has 400s in his career so far. Important innings for him. Bobo, short and wide, that's bread and butter for him. Jonathan Carter, who's going to have a ball. Pereira now on 96. 150 partnership comes up. Missed out. 
catch taken. He falls on 99. What an anticlimactic moment. And he'll be kicking himself. Who knows how many times again in his career he's going to get to that point. With no way, what was a certain hundred? 99 to Usal Pereira. And this is how he went. Delivery going across him. Carlos Braffitt settling under it and making no mistake. Able to roll the wrist on that one, sliced it straight up in the air, and he's gone for 99. Well played 99 from Crucial Pereira and Sri Lanka, 196 for two. Got it away. Might have been looking to go forward a square, but still it's four. And that's it. It's all over. Sri Lanka might have been anxious when Chandimal departed, but then came that big partnership for the second wicket. When uh, Telekaratne Dilshan departed, 156 between the pair of uh, Kusal Pereira and Lahiru Tirimana. And that's why they're celebrating not just the victory in the match, but the victory in the series. And yet again, the West Indies find themselves on the wrong end of an international result. So that's confirmation. Uh, the West Indies in a match reduced to 38 overs per side, getting up to 214, four run outs of six balls ending their innings. And Sri Lanka cruising to their target, winning comfortably by eight wickets to take an unbeatable 2-0 lead in the three-match series.